ever wondered how a forest might look on Mars? Welcome to the Oddities and Curiosities channel, like, share and subscribe if you like our content. Our cosmic neighbor the Red Planet has always been a source of fascination, its crimson allure drawing us into its enigmatic world. One such enigma is the Martian forests, a peculiar phenomenon that plays tricks on the eyes and mind. In the barren rust-hued landscapes of Mars, one might be startled to spot what appears to be clusters of trees. These are no ordinary forests but rather a grand illusion, a geological ballet spun by the planet's unique conditions. Here, dark cascading sands roll down the Martian slopes, their path traced against lighter terrain. From a distance, these paths resemble tree-like forms, creating a surreal tableau reminiscent of an arboreal landscape. This is not a case of Martian flora springing forth, but rather the intricate dance of sand and wind, shaped by the planet's thin atmosphere and low gravity. The dark sands, heavier than their lighter counterparts, tumble down the slopes, their journey etched into the surface. The resulting patterns are a testament to the ceaseless geological activity that shapes the Martian landscape. The illusion of these Martian forests is a stark reminder of how Mars defies our earthly norms. It sparks our curiosity, stirring questions about the geological processes at play on this distant world. It invites us to rethink our notions of what a forest can be, challenging us to see beyond the familiar. These Martian forests also offer tantalizing hints about the planet's past. Could these sand formations be remnants of ancient water flows? What secrets might they reveal about Mars's climate history? As we delve deeper into the mysteries of the Red Planet, these illusions continue to captivate our imaginations, beckoning us to unravel their enigmas. And so, the Martian trees continue to dance in the Martian winds, painting a surreal landscape that defies our earthly norms. As we journey further into the cosmos, who knows what other illusions we might encounter, what other mysteries we might unveil. On Mars, even the sands whisper stories of the unknown, inviting us to listen, to explore, and to wonder. What about spiders on Mars? Not quite what you're imagining. Instead, envision intricate patterns etched into the Martian terrain, not by extraterrestrial life, but by escaping underground gases. These intriguing formations, referred to as spiders due to their eerie resemblance to our eight-legged companions, tell a fascinating story about Mars's unique geological processes. You see, during the Martian winters, carbon dioxide freezes on the surface. As spring arrives, the sun's heat penetrates the ice, causing the trapped gas to sublimate, transition from a solid directly to a gas. This gas then escapes through cracks in the ice, carving out spindly, spider-like figures on the surface. These alien etchings provide us with a captivating snapshot of the dynamic geological dance that takes place on Mars, a dance that is both peculiar and mesmerizing. Each spider, each pattern, contributes to our understanding of this red celestial enigma, these enigmatic figures akin to spiders challenge our understanding and keep the Martian mysteries alive. Bright vibrant mounds on Mars? Indeed a sight to behold. Let's dive into the mystery of these intriguing formations, captured in false color by orbiting cameras. They present as central depressions ringed by a kaleidoscope of hues, a sight as stunning as it is perplexing. On Earth we're accustomed to hills and valleys shaped by the forces of erosion, glaciation and tectonic activity. But on Mars the rules are different. The Martian mounds are a testament to these alien rules, their origins shrouded in mystery and ripe for exploration. One prevailing theory posits that these mounds are remnants of ancient volcanic activity. Imagine, if you will, a time when Mars was alive with the rumble of volcanoes spewing forth molten rock and gases. Over countless millennia the volcanic domes could have eroded, leaving behind only their hardened cores. These cores, standing proud against the Martian winds, could be the mounds we see today. However, as with any good mystery, there's a competing theory. Some scientists propose that the mounds are not remnants of a fiery past, but rather markers of an icy one. They could be the result of a freeze-thaw cycle, unique to the Martian climate, where the seasonal build-up and melting of ice shapes the landscape in ways we're only beginning to understand. And then there's the wildcard theory, could these mounds be the product of biological activity? Some brave souls in the scientific community entertain the idea that these formations are the fossilized remnants of ancient Martian life. A tantalizing thought, but one that needs more evidence. The truth, as it often does, likely lies somewhere in the middle. 
Perhaps the mounds are a combination of volcanic, climatic and even biological factors. Only further exploration and investigation will tell. The Martian mounds, in their vibrant hues, beckon us to continue to decipher their cryptic origins. Their enigmatic presence serves as a reminder of the myriad mysteries that the Red Planet holds, waiting to be unraveled by curious minds like ours. Geometry and Mars, an unexpected connection. Picture this, a canvas of rust-hued sand untouched but for the soft whisper of the wind. This wind, so seemingly gentle yet relentless in its pursuit of artistry, molds the Martian landscape into fascinating geometric wonders. With the patience of time and the precision of a master sculptor, the wind etches striking V-shapes across the Martian terrain. These figures, stark against the barren plains, tease our curiosity and spark our imagination. What might their purpose be? Do they serve a function in the Martian ecosystem, or are they simply the result of nature's whimsical artistry? These Martian V-shapes, silent and enigmatic, stand as cryptic symbols etched on an alien canvas. They invite us to marvel at the intricacies of extraterrestrial geology, to question, to wonder, and to explore. The Martian V-shapes, a testament to the extraterrestrial artistry of nature. Water on Mars, a tantalizing possibility. So let's dive into the mystery of Martian water. Picture this. The red planet, long thought to be an arid desert, might not be as dry as we once imagined. Evidence suggests that briny water may intermittently course through Martian slopes, hinting at reservoirs hidden beneath the surface. This isn't mere speculation. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter has captured images of dark streaks, known as recurring slope lineae, appearing and vanishing seasonally on the Martian surface. These streaks are thought to be caused by the flow of salty water, a theory that has sparked a flurry of excitement among scientists. But why is this so significant? Well, where there's water, there could be life. On Earth, life as we know it needs liquid water to survive. If Mars does indeed harbor water, it opens the door to the intriguing possibility of microbial life on the Red Planet. In fact, the prospect of water on Mars has already influenced our exploration strategies. The planned Mars Sample Return Mission, for instance, aims to collect samples from Jezero Crater, a site believed to have once been a lake. Scientists hope that these samples might contain microscopic fossils, evidence of past Martian life. Even if Mars doesn't currently host life, the presence of water could be crucial for future human colonization. Water could be used for drinking, growing crops, and even creating rocket fuel. The idea of a self-sustaining Martian colony suddenly seems less like science fiction and more like a tangible goal within our reach. However, many questions remain. How much water is there on Mars? Is it accessible? And most importantly, could it support life? As we continue our cosmic quest, these are the puzzles we hope to solve. The whispers of Martian water continue to tantalize us with the possibility of life beyond our planet. So let's keep listening, keep exploring, and maybe one day we'll unlock the secrets hidden beneath the Martian surface. A tale of two hemispheres, welcome to Mars. Our cosmic neighbor presents a fascinating dichotomy that has puzzled scientists and astronomers for decades. Mars, it seems, is a world divided. Its northern hemisphere, a vast expanse of smooth plains, is a stark contrast to the southern hemisphere, a rugged terrain adorned with the scars of ancient impacts. This planetary divide is as dramatic as it is mysterious. The northern plains, resembling our ocean basins, are relatively young in geological terms, less than a billion years old. They are characterized by low elevations and a lack of large impact craters, suggesting a history of resurfacing. On the other hand, the southern highlands, pockmarked with craters, tell a tale of a time when the Martian surface was bombarded by celestial objects. This landscape, estimated to be about 4 billion years old, provides a window to the early solar system. But what caused this stark contrast? One theory suggests a massive impact event, akin to the one that created our moon. This big splash theory posits that a celestial body, about the size of Earth's moon, collided with Mars, excavating the northern plains. The impact, with its immense heat and energy, would have melted the Martian surface, creating a sea of molten rock that eventually solidified to form the smooth plains we see today. Another theory suggests that internal geological processes, like plate tectonics or volcanic activity, shaped the Martian topography over billions of years. The smooth northern plains could be the result of extensive volcanic eruptions, while the rugged southern highlands bear witness to the planet's tumultuous past. 
These theories, while compelling, are still under debate. Mars, with its two-faced nature, remains an enigmatic world that continues to defy our understanding. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of the Red Planet, we are reminded of the immense complexity of our solar system. The enigma of Mars's two-faced nature continues to intrigue us, a testament to the planet's enduring allure. Have you ever wondered what a storm that has been raging for more than 350 years looks like? Welcome to Jupiter, home to the Great Red Spot, the largest storm in our solar system. This tempest is a swirling maelstrom of such colossal proportions that it could engulf not one, not two, but three Earths side by side. Named after the king of Roman gods, Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, holds mysteries that defy imagination. The Great Red Spot is one such enigma that has captivated the minds of astronomers for centuries. This storm, with its fiery red hue and turbulent swirls, is an eternal tempest that has been raging since at least the 17th century when it was first observed. What fuels this perpetual fury? The true answer still eludes us. However, scientists believe that Jupiter's fast rotation and the planet's internal heat are key factors that drive the storm. The tempest churns within the planet's complex atmospheric bands, powered by the planet's rapid spin and heated by warmth rising from deep within Jupiter's gaseous layers. Yet, despite all we know, the Great Red Spot still keeps some of its secrets closely guarded. Its longevity, for instance, is a mystery that continues to puzzle scientists. While storms on Earth last for a few days or weeks, this Jovian tempest has persisted for centuries. Why it has lasted so long is a question that remains unanswered. The Great Red Spot is a testament to the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our universe. It's a constant reminder of the powerful and often unpredictable forces at play in the cosmos. It's a symbol of the eternal dance of celestial bodies, each playing their part in the grand scheme of the universe. So the Great Red Spot, an eternal tempest, continues its dance on Jupiter, a spectacle of the universe's unending drama. An emblem of Jupiter's might and majesty, it's a storm like no other, a storm that has been raging for more than three centuries and shows no sign of stopping. What if I told you that Jupiter, the giant of our solar system, has an entourage of 79 moons? Yes, that's right. Jupiter, the king of the Roman gods, doesn't just rule alone. It's accompanied by a retinue of celestial bodies, each with its unique tale to tell. Among these moons, one stands out for its sheer size and grandeur, Ganymede. It's not just another moon, it's a titan among its peers, larger even than the planet Mercury. Ganymede is the only moon known to have its magnetic field, a protective shield that wards off cosmic radiation. It's a world within a world, a testament to the diversity and complexity of our solar system. But the spectacle doesn't end here. Orbiting the gas giant, there's a thin yet enchanting ring system. Unlike the flashy rings of Saturn, Jupiter's rings are subtle, almost ethereal. They're not made of ice chunks or rock fragments, but of tiny dust particles. And where does this dust come from? It's the remnants of smaller moons and celestial bodies that collided, a testament to the cosmic battles fought in the past. These dust particles, flung out into space, are captured by Jupiter's immense gravity and form a delicate ring system. It's a dance of particles, a ballet performed in the silence of the cosmos, choreographed by the forces of nature. The rings may be thin, but they're a reminder of the volatile history of our solar system and the constant change that defines our universe. The moons and rings of Jupiter are more than just celestial bodies. They're a window into the past, a glimpse into the dynamic processes that shape our universe. Each moon, each speck of dust, has a story to tell, a piece of the cosmic puzzle that is Jupiter. So the next time you gaze at the night sky, remember the grandeur of Jupiter, its moons and its rings. Remember the cosmic ballet performed in the silence of space. Jupiter's moons and rings perform a cosmic ballet, a silent symphony in the vastness of space. Have you ever experienced an environment where the temperature ranges from bone-chilling cold to hotter than the sun's surface? Welcome to Jupiter, the gas giant where such extremes are not only possible, but are the norm. Jupiter's atmosphere is a complex dance of extremes. The upper edge of the atmosphere is a realm of numbing cold. Here, temperatures plummet to a staggering negative 229 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 145 degrees Celsius. This is where crystallized ammonia forms, frosting the outer layer of the planet with a chilly veneer. 
As we journey downward, the atmospheric pressure increases, creating a fascinating transformation. The hydrogen gas, which makes up the majority of Jupiter's atmosphere, begins to liquefy. This transition zone, known as the tropopause, marks the boundary between the upper atmosphere's freezing cold and the warmer layers below. Descending deeper, we find a surprising shift in temperature. Here, the hydrogen soup reaches a comfortable 69.8 degrees Fahrenheit, or 21 degrees Celsius. It's a cozy contrast to the icy upper atmosphere. But don't be fooled. This is not a place for a leisurely swim. The pressure here is about a thousand times greater than what we experience on Earth's surface. And if you dare to venture further, to the very heart of Jupiter, you'd encounter an environment that defies comprehension. The core of this gas giant blazes with an infernal heat of 67,532 degrees Fahrenheit, or 37,500 degrees Celsius. That's hotter than the surface of the sun. But what could possibly generate such unimaginable heat? The answer lies in the incredible pressure exerted by the layers of gas above the core. This pressure is so intense that it squeezes the hydrogen, forcing the electrons out of their orbits and creating a form of hydrogen that behaves more like a metal than a gas. This metallic hydrogen, under the immense pressure and heat, generates a powerful magnetic field, further adding to Jupiter's mystique. The core itself is believed to be composed of heavier elements, perhaps rock or metal, swathed in this sea of metallic hydrogen. Yet despite our advances in technology and understanding, the exact composition of Jupiter's core remains a tantalizing mystery. This journey from the crystallized cold of Jupiter's upper atmosphere to its fiery core is a testament to the planet's sheer size and the incredible forces at work within it. It's a voyage of extremes where the conditions change from the freezing cold to the scorching heat, all within the same celestial body. Such are the extremes of Jupiter, a planet where icy cold and scorching heat exist in a delicate, volatile balance. A world that is constantly surprising us, challenging our understanding of the universe, and reminding us that, in the vast expanse of space, the unexpected is often the rule, not the exception. This is Jupiter, a place of crystallized cold and fiery core, a gas giant that truly lives up to its name. Can you imagine a day that lasts less than 10 hours? Welcome to Jupiter! where a day is a whirlwind spin, a dizzying dance that lasts just 9 hours and 55 minutes. That's right, folks. Jupiter's day is shorter than your average work shift. This rapid rotation is more than just a cosmic curiosity. It's a defining characteristic of Jupiter, shaping the gas giant in ways that are both visible and invisible to the naked eye. Picture a sphere spinning so fast that it starts to bulge at its equator, flattening slightly at the poles. That's Jupiter for you. An oblate spheroid, a planet stretched by its own speed. This speed does more than just shape Jupiter's silhouette. It also stirs up its atmosphere, creating a mesmerizing pattern of cloud belts and zones that stripe across the planet's upper atmosphere. It's a stunning spectacle, a celestial canvas painted by the forces of physics. These cloud belts and zones aren't just for show. They're visible signs of Jupiter's complex weather systems driven by the planet's rapid rotation. These intricate patterns are the result of gases and heat moving in and around Jupiter, creating a swirling, churning atmosphere that's as dynamic as it is beautiful. But don't let the beauty fool you. Jupiter's weather is anything but mild. The planet's rapid rotation generates strong jet streams, whipping up winds that can reach speeds of more than 220 miles per hour. That's faster than the strongest hurricane ever recorded on Earth. And yet, amidst this tumultuous weather, there is a certain rhythm, a certain predictability. The cloud belts and zones, the storms and the calm, they all follow the beat of Jupiter's rapid rotation. It's a symphony of chaos and order, played out on a planetary scale. So what would life be like on a planet where a day lasts less than 10 hours? It's hard to say for sure, but one thing is clear. On Jupiter, Life would be a whirlwind, quite literally, with days zipping by in the blink of an eye. Did you know that Jupiter has been revered and personified by various cultures throughout history? This colossal celestial being has been the muse of countless mythologies, embodying the might and wonder of the cosmos. To the ancient Greeks, Jupiter was none other than Zeus, the mighty king of gods, ruler of the skies and the thunder. His Roman counterpart, Jupiter, was the deity of the sky and thunder and king of the gods in ancient Roman religion and mythology. 
This celestial titan was the protector and patron of Rome, embodying the Romans' aspirations and ideals of power, leadership and authority. Stepping back in time to the ancient Mesopotamian civilization, we find Jupiter identified with Marduk, the patron deity of the city of Babylon. Marduk was associated with justice, compassion and healing, reflecting the planet's bright and seemingly benevolent presence in the night sky. Across the sea in the land of the Germanic tribes, Jupiter was perceived as Donar, also known as Thor. This thunder god, known for his mighty hammer and his battles against giants, symbolizes the raw, uncontained power that Jupiter as a planet represents. The Maori of New Zealand knew Jupiter as Potini Nui A Awiarangi, the Great One of the Offspring of the Sky, reflecting their understanding of the cosmos and the interconnectedness of all things in it. In Hindu astrology, Jupiter is known as Guru or Brihaspati, the teacher of the gods. It signifies wisdom, learning and expansiveness in the astrological context. Across cultures, Jupiter has been a source of fascination and reverence, a symbol of power, wisdom and the vastness of the cosmos. Its grandeur, its mysteries and its influence on our solar system have made it a fitting embodiment of these divine figures. Jupiter, a celestial body, has played many roles in the cosmic theatre of human imagination. Whether as Zeus, Jupiter, Marduk, Donar, Patini Nui Awiarangi, or Guru, this gas giant continues to inspire awe and curiosity as we delve deeper into its secrets. How much do we owe to the spacecrafts that have journeyed to Jupiter and brought back valuable information? As we delve into the enigmatic world of Jupiter, it's crucial to acknowledge the intrepid spacecraft that have dared to venture into the depths of the great gas giant. Eight brave spacecraft, Pioneer, Voyager, Galileo, Cassini, Ulysses, New Horizons and Juno, have journeyed to Jupiter, each contributing unique insights into the planet's complex character. The Pioneer missions in the early 70s were the first to capture close-up images of Jupiter, revealing its swirling atmosphere and complex magnetic field. Then came the Voyager missions, which, in the late 70s, unveiled the existence of Jupiter's faint ring system, a revelation that astounded the scientific community. In the 90s, the Galileo orbiter arrived, named after the Italian astronomer who discovered Jupiter's four largest moons. Galileo not only provided detailed images of these moons, but it also plunged a probe into Jupiter's atmosphere, capturing first-hand data about its composition and winds. Following Galileo, the Cassini spacecraft swung by Jupiter on its way to Saturn, capturing breathtaking images and helping to refine our knowledge of Jupiter's magnetic field. The Ulysses spacecraft, initially designed to study the Sun, used Jupiter's gravity to alter its course, giving us valuable data about the planet's magnetosphere in the process. Not long after, the New Horizons spacecraft whizzed past Jupiter, using the planet's gravity to speed up its journey to Pluto. As it passed, it captured remarkable images of Jupiter's atmospheric changes and volcanic activity on its moon Io, and then, in 2016, came Juno, the latest spacecraft to grace Jupiter's skies. Named after the Roman goddess who could see through her husband Jupiter's veil of clouds, the Juno mission was designed to pierce through the gas giant's mysteries. Juno's journey to Jupiter was a long one, taking five years to reach its destination. But the wait was well worth it. Juno's primary mission is to understand the origin and evolution of Jupiter. With its suite of scientific instruments, Juno peers beneath the cloud cover to study Jupiter's auroras, measure the amount of water in its atmosphere, and probe its deep interior. Juno's findings have been nothing short of revolutionary, reshaping our understanding of Jupiter's magnetic field and revealing surprising details about its polar regions. Juno's close encounters with Jupiter have also allowed it to capture stunning images, showcasing the planet's vibrant cloud tops and tumultuous weather patterns in unprecedented detail. Each new image, each new data point brings us one step closer to understanding the king of the planets. Moreover, Juno's mission is far from over. It continues to orbit Jupiter, diving close to its cloud tops every 53 days, gathering valuable data, and offering us a front row seat to the greatest show in our solar system. In the grand scheme of space exploration, these eight missions represent a collective leap of humanity into the unknown. They have advanced our understanding of the most massive planet in our solar system, laying the groundwork for future explorations and discoveries. Our understanding of Jupiter has been shaped by these brave explorers, our mechanical emissaries in the uncharted territories of space. 
As we continue our journey through the cosmos, let's remember these spacecraft and the invaluable insights they have provided, reminding us of our place in the grand cosmic theater and inspiring us to reach further into the depths of the universe. What if the core of Jupiter is actually hotter than the surface of the Sun? Now that's a question that has sparked the curiosity of many a scientist and space enthusiast. As we delve deeper into the colossal gas giant's interior, we find ourselves face to face with a conundrum that is as fascinating as it is perplexing. At the heart of Jupiter, temperatures skyrocket to a staggering 67,532 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a heat so intense, it surpasses the surface of our sun. But how can this be? What's the source of this infernal furnace? One theory suggests that the secret lies within Jupiter's unique composition. Unlike our Earth, which has a solid core, Jupiter's core is believed to be a dense blend of rock and metallic hydrogen. This unusual combination could give rise to extreme heat under the immense pressure of the planet's vast atmosphere. Another theory proposes that the heat is a remnant of Jupiter's formation. As the largest planet in our solar system, Jupiter would have held on to much of its original heat from its formation over four and a half billion years ago. This stored energy, combined with the ongoing pressure from the planet's gravity, might be the source of the core's incredible temperature. Yet another hypothesis points to the possibility of some form of hidden energy or cosmic alchemy at work. Perhaps there are processes deep within Jupiter's core that we're yet to understand, processes that could generate such extraordinary heat. These theories, while intriguing, are yet to be proven. The truth about Jupiter's core remains shrouded in mystery, a puzzle that continues to challenge and inspire scientists around the world. Jupiter's fiery core, a mystery that continues to baffle us, is a testament to the endless surprises the universe holds. So, as we gaze upon the night sky, let's remember the enigmatic heart of Jupiter, a reminder of the infinite wonders that await our discovery in the cosmos. As we conclude our journey, let's take a moment to marvel at the majestic Jupiter, a realm of extremes and mysteries. We've ventured through the eternal tempest of the Great Red Spot, a storm so colossal it could swallow three Earths whole. Its ceaseless fury, a testament to the power and energy that lies within this gas giant. We've danced in the Jovian Ballet, among an entourage of 79 moons and a thin ring system, spun from the dust of cosmic collisions. We've met Ganymede, a moon so mighty it dwarfs the planet Mercury. We then plunged into an odyssey of extremes, from the bone-chilling crystallized ammonia at Jupiter's upper edge, to the fiery inferno of its core, hotter than the surface of our sun. A testament to the planet's power, its day lasts a mere 9 hours and 55 minutes, its rapid rotation painting mesmerizing stripes across its upper atmosphere. We've traced the footprints of ancient gods, Zeus, Marduk, Thor, across the tapestry of Jupiter's cosmic namesake, a testament to the awe this planet has inspired across cultures and epochs. Our journey then brought us to the daring expeditions of eight intrepid spacecraft that have glimpsed Jupiter's majesty. The Juno mission, in particular, promises fresh revelations, its whispers from the gas giant eagerly awaited. Finally, we've pondered the fiery secret of Jupiter's core, Hotter than the sun, this enigma hints at hidden energies and cosmic alchemy, waiting to be uncovered. In the grand theater of our solar system, Jupiter holds center stage, a world where storms rage, moons dance, and secrets lie veiled. It's a realm that beckons us, inviting us to explore and wonder. Remember, fellow cosmic explorers, Jupiter beckons. A realm of extremes where storms rage, moons dance, and secrets await. If you enjoyed this journey through the cosmos, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more interstellar adventures. Have you ever gazed at the night sky and wondered about our place in the infinite cosmos? It's a question that has sparked curiosity throughout human history. Today we begin a journey that will take us light years away from our home planet, to the doorstep of our nearest stellar neighbor, the Alpha Centauri system. Welcome to the Oddities and Curiosities channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like our content. This celestial trio of Rigel Centaurus, Ptoleman, and the elusive Proxima Centauri holds the keys to cosmic mysteries that have been pondered for generations. From their gravitational dance to their potential for hosting life, they beckon us with their brilliance. 
As we embark on this interstellar expedition, we will delve into the secrets these celestial bodies hold, exploring their spectral types, temperatures, and intriguing characteristics. We'll even venture into the hunt for distant worlds orbiting Proxima Centauri. So, buckle up, space traveler, as we embark on a journey to our nearest stellar neighbor, the Alpha Centauri system. Just over four light years away, a trio of stars graces our cosmic neighborhood. In the vast expanse of the cosmos, this may seem like a neighbor just next door, and in a way, it is. This is the Alpha Centauri system, our closest celestial companion beyond our own solar system. The Alpha Centauri system is a stellar spectacle consisting of three stars. Alpha Centauri A, Alpha Centauri B, and Proxima Centauri. Each of these celestial bodies has its own unique features, making the system a multifaceted gem in our cosmic backyard. Let's start with Alpha Centauri A and B. Also known as Rigel Centaurus and Toliman, these two stars are a binary pair, bound together by gravity's unyielding grip. They dance around each other, creating a celestial ballet that's been going on for billions of years. Both are reminiscent of our own sun, sharing similar sizes, temperatures and spectral types. But despite their similarities to our home star, they are still alien worlds, full of their own unique mysteries waiting to be explored. Then we have Proxima Centauri, the smallest member of the trio. But don't let its size fool you. It's earned the title of closest star to the sun, sitting just a smidge closer to us than its larger companions. This red dwarf star may be smaller and cooler than our sun, but it's a cosmic powerhouse, with the potential to host planets in its habitable zone, and who knows what secrets these possible worlds may hold. The Alpha Centauri system is our cosmic neighbor, a mere 4.2 to 4.4 light years away. In the grand scheme of the universe, that's a cosmic hop, skip, and a jump. But even at this relatively close distance, it's still a place of wonder and mystery, a celestial treasure chest just waiting to be opened. Imagine that, a star system so close yet holding so many mysteries. As we continue our journey through the cosmos, let's remember that like Alpha Centauri, Every star has a story to tell, and as we unravel these cosmic tales, we'll undoubtedly uncover more about our own place in the universe. In the heart of the Alpha Centauri system, a spectacular dance unfolds. This cosmic ballet is performed by two sun-like stars, Rigel Centaurus, or Alpha Centauri A, and Ptolemon, also known as Alpha Centauri B. These celestial bodies form a binary system, locked in a gravitational embrace that has persisted for billions of years. Their dance is a delicate balance, a testament to the intricate laws of physics that govern our universe. As they pirouette through the cosmos, these stars radiate a combined brilliance that ranks as the third brightest point of light in our sky, surpassed only by the dazzling Sirius and Canopus. Each twirl, each spin, each revolution is a radiant spectacle that has been observed and admired from our humble home planet, Earth. Let's delve a little deeper into the characteristics of these stellar dancers. Alpha Centauri A, the slightly larger and brighter of the two, is a spectral type G star, much like our own sun. Its surface temperature dances around 5,800 degrees Celsius, just slightly hotter than our sun. Its partner, Alpha Centauri B, is a spectral type K star, a little cooler and smaller, but still quite similar to the sun, its surface temperature is around 5,200 degrees Celsius, a bit cooler than its companion, but still incredibly hot by our earthly standards. Interestingly, these stars don't always dance at the same pace. At times they waltz close together, separated by a distance comparable to the space between our Sun and Uranus. At other times they tango farther apart, maintaining a distance similar to that between our Sun and Neptune. Their dance while always in sync is not always the same, an interstellar waltz that changes with the music of gravity and momentum. A dance of light and gravity, a spectacle for us to behold. As we continue our journey through the cosmos, let's remember this dance, the dance of Alpha Centauri A and B, a testament to the celestial wonders that lie just beyond our solar system. Around the dimmest star of the trio, a family of planets orbit. This star, the smallest yet closest to our sun, is none other than Proxima Centauri. It might seem unassuming, but its allure lies in the celestial bodies that dance around it. Exoplanets, mysterious worlds beyond our solar system. These celestial objects were not always known to us. It was only in 2016 when the first exoplanet Proxima Centauri b was discovered. This planet, slightly larger than Earth, is located in the habitable zone of its star, 
where conditions might be just right for liquid water, a crucial ingredient for life as we know it, to exist. Then, in 2020, another discovery added Proxima Centauri C to the family. This planet, seven times the size of Earth, orbits its star at a distance greater than that between the Sun and Mars. The discovery of these exoplanets was no easy feat. It involved the use of powerful telescopes and a technique known as radial velocity. This method detects tiny wobbles in the motion of the star, caused by the gravitational pull of its orbiting planets. By measuring these wobbles, astronomers can infer the presence of exoplanets even without directly seeing them. It's a bit like noticing the sway of a tree's branches to guess that a hidden bird is perched upon it. But the question on everyone's mind is, could these planets support life? Well, the answer is still shrouded in the cosmic unknown. Proxima Centauri b, being in the habitable zone, is a tantalizing prospect. However, its host star, Proxima Centauri, is a red dwarf known for violent flares that could strip a nearby planet of its atmosphere. As for Proxima Centauri c, its distant orbit likely subjects it to frigid temperatures, making it a less likely candidate. Yet we should not lose hope. The universe has habitually surprised us with its resilience and tenacity for life. Perhaps in the future, with the advancement of technology, we might find a way to detect signs of life on these distant worlds. Or who knows, we might even discover more planets in the Proxima Centauri system. Nestled within the constellation Centaurus, Alpha Centauri shines brightly. Centaurus, a prominent constellation in the Southern Hemisphere, is named after the mythical Greek centaur. Its name, when translated, means the centaur, a creature with the upper body of a human and the lower body of a horse. This constellation is steeped in rich mythological history, with tales dating back to ancient Greek civilization. Centaurus has been depicted in various ways throughout history. Some cultures saw the constellation as a wise healer, while others saw it as a symbol of nature and fertility. This constellation was also known to the ancient Arabs, who perceived it as two jumping goats. The constellation Centaurus is home to many celestial objects, but none shine quite as brightly as Alpha Centauri. This star system is a beacon of light against the dark canvas of the night sky, a point of fascination for astronomers and stargazers alike. Alpha Centauri is not just any star, it is a luminary spectacle. Its combined luminosity is so intense that it easily outshines other stars in the night sky. It is the third brightest star visible from Earth, its radiant light surpassed only by Sirius and Canopus. The brilliance of Alpha Centauri is not just in its physical luminosity, it's also in the secrets it holds and the potential for discovery it offers. This star system is a testament to the marvels of the universe, a cosmic treasure chest waiting to be unlocked. Its location within the constellation Centaurus is also noteworthy. It lies in a rich field of stars, offering a breathtaking view for those lucky enough to observe it from the Southern Hemisphere. The constellation Centaurus, with Alpha Centauri as its crown jewel, is a sight to behold. In the vastness of the universe, Alpha Centauri is a beacon of familiarity. Its luminosity serves as a cosmic lighthouse, guiding us through the mysteries of the cosmos. This star system is a symbol of our quest for knowledge and understanding, a testament to our innate curiosity about the world beyond our own. Its prominence in the night sky is a reminder of its significance in our understanding of the universe. Alpha Centauri's luminosity is not just a testament to its physical properties, but also to its symbolic importance. It is a beacon of hope, a symbol of our quest for knowledge and understanding, and a testament to the human spirit's unquenchable thirst for discovery. As we delve deeper into the secrets of the universe, Alpha Centauri continues to shine brightly, its light a constant reminder of the mysteries that await us. This star system, nestled within the constellation Centaurus, is a testament to the wonders of the cosmos, a beacon of hope in our quest for cosmic understanding. A beacon amidst the stars, Alpha Centauri outshines even the brightest northern stars. Its luminosity is a testament to its significance, a beacon of hope in our quest for cosmic understanding. As we continue our journey through the cosmos, Alpha Centauri remains a constant, its light guiding us towards new discoveries and insights into the universe. As our curiosity about the cosmos grows, so too do our ambitions. The Alpha Centauri system, our nearest star neighbor, is an irresistible target for future explorations, offering a tantalizing glimpse into the unknown. A mere 4.2 to 4.4 light years away? It's a hop, skip and a jump in cosmic terms, 
and it beckons us with the promise of novel discoveries, and perhaps, just perhaps, the answer to the ultimate question, are we alone in the universe? The future of exploration is a canvas yet to be painted, but already audacious plans are being sketched out. Scientists and engineers are dreaming up innovative mission ideas to probe this neighboring system, and their blueprints are nothing short of revolutionary. We're not talking about traditional rocket-propelled spacecraft. No, the journey to Alpha Centauri calls for something more. Imagine tiny lightweight probes, each smaller than a postage stamp, powered by beams of light. This is the concept behind the Breakthrough Starshot Initiative, an ambitious project that aims to send a fleet of miniaturized spacecraft to Alpha Centauri at a fifth of the speed of light. The journey, even at such breakneck speeds, would still take over 20 years, but compared to the tens of thousands of years a conventional spacecraft would require, it's a cosmic blink of an eye. But the journey is only half the story. Once there, these miniature explorers could gather unprecedented data about the Alpha Centauri system. They could analyze the stellar characteristics of Rigel Centaurus and Ptolemon, investigate the elusive Proxima Centauri, and perhaps most exciting of all, study the system's known exoplanets. Could one of these distant worlds host life? It's a question that has tantalized us for centuries, and one that these probes could help answer. Yet even as we dream of distant stars, we must also look closer to home. The technology required for such a mission is not yet within our grasp, but it's not beyond our reach either. With each passing year, our understanding of the cosmos grows, and with it, our technological capabilities. The challenges are immense, but so too are the potential rewards. As we stand on the cusp of a new era of exploration, it's worth remembering that our journey to the stars is not just about the destination. It's about the journey itself, the knowledge we gain, the technologies we develop, and the questions we ask. It's about pushing the boundaries of what's possible, about daring to dream, and about reaching for the stars, both literally and metaphorically. The stars await us and Alpha Centauri is just the beginning. As we conclude our journey, remember to hit that subscribe button and activate notifications. Our channel serves as your gateway to the cosmos, a place where celestial mysteries unravel before your very eyes. Alpha Centauri, our nearest stellar neighbor, is a testament to the grandeur and complexity of the universe that we inhabit. This triple star system, with its sun-like stars and intriguing exoplanets, holds the promise of cosmic discoveries and the tantalizing possibility of extraterrestrial life. Our exploration doesn't end here. With each passing day, humanity inches closer to the stars, our curiosity fueling ambitious plans for interstellar missions. The secrets of the universe are within our reach, waiting to be uncovered. Let's continue this journey together, exploring the wonders of our galactic neighborhood and beyond. Remember, we are all made of stardust, connected to the cosmic ballet that is Alpha Centauri. Ever wondered which planet has the wildest party of temperatures? Spoiler alert, it's Mercury. Welcome to the Oddities and Curiosities channel. Please like, share, and subscribe you like our content. Now let's dive into the fascinating world of this speedy little planet. Picture a place where daytime temperatures skyrocket to a scorching 800 degrees Fahrenheit. Seems unbearable, right? But wait, there's more. When the sun sets, the mercury plunges to a frigid negative 290 degrees Fahrenheit. What's behind this wild temperature tango? Mercury's lack of atmosphere allows it to absorb and lose heat rapidly. Unlike Earth, where the atmosphere holds on to heat and moderates temperatures, Mercury experiences the full brunt of the sun's heat during the day and the chill of space at night. Compared to other planets, Mercury's thermal fluctuations are the most extreme in our solar system. So, while we enjoy our moderate Earth temperatures, Mercury dances to the tune of extreme thermal swings. Size isn't everything, and Mercury is here to prove it. As the runt of our solar system's planetary litter, Mercury may seem insignificant. Its diameter, at just over 3,000 miles, makes it only slightly larger than our moon. Yet there's more to this tiny titan than meets the eye. Despite its small stature, Mercury is a celestial powerhouse, punching way above its weight. It's a tenacious little planet holding its own against the gravitational might of the Sun and Jupiter. And here's the kicker. Mercury is still contracting. That's right, this small planet is getting even smaller. It's as if Mercury, like a pint-sized cosmic David, is defying the Goliaths of our solar system, showing us that even the smallest celestial bodies can pack a big surprise. So let's tip our space helmets to Mercury, the little planet that could, continues to shrink and surprise us. 
Mercury doesn't believe in straight lines or perfect circles. Its orbit is a wild ride. Unlike the predictable paths of its planetary siblings, Mercury's trajectory is a cosmic roller coaster, thanks to the gravitational pull of the Sun and Jupiter. Picture a dance where Mercury is twirling around the Sun in an elliptical waltz, sometimes closer, sometimes further away. This irregularity leads to a squashed, lopsided trajectory, giving its orbit an eccentricity that's off the charts. And that's not all. Mercury's orbit even brings it tantalizingly close to Venus, which boasts the most perfectly circular orbit in the solar system. It's a planetary game of tag on a grand scale. But remember, this isn't chaos or unpredictability. It's a dance choreographed by the laws of physics, a dance that's been going on for billions of years. Mercury's orbit, a cosmic dance of gravitational forces, is a testament to the unpredictable beauty of our universe. Ice on the hottest planet? Now that's a cool paradox. Picture this, a sizzling world where temperatures reach a blistering 800 degrees Fahrenheit, yet it harbors ice. Yes, you heard it right, ice. This is no April Fool's joke, folks. Mercury, our solar system's innermost planet, houses ice in its polar regions. How can this be, you ask? Well, it's all thanks to the planet's axial tilt, or lack thereof. With virtually no tilt, the sun never reaches these polar areas, leaving them in perpetual darkness and cold enough to sustain deposits of water ice. This intriguing discovery was made by NASA's MESSENGER spacecraft, which detected reflective patches at Mercury's poles. These patches turned out to be water ice, tucked away in craters and shielded from the sun. So, despite the scorching temperatures, Mercury has managed to keep its cool in the most unexpected places. Mercury's icy secret, hidden in the shadows, challenges what we thought we knew about this fiery planet. Mercury is not just a rocky planet, it has an iron heart. This isn't a metaphorical statement, but rather a fascinating fact about the smallest planet in our solar system. Beneath its craggy, cratered surface, Mercury houses a massive iron core. This metallic powerhouse accounts for an astonishing 70% of the planet's total mass, making it one of the densest planets in our solar system. This iron heart is not just an intriguing oddity, it's a testament to Mercury's fiery birth and tumultuous past. The planet's iron core is a remnant of the intense heat and pressure that shaped Mercury during the formation of our solar system. Despite the harsh conditions, this iron heart has endured, much like the planet itself. The core's colossal size also influences Mercury's magnetic field, making it the only planet apart from Earth in our inner solar system to have one. So, beneath its rocky exterior, Mercury's iron heart beats with the rhythm of the cosmos. Every inch of Mercury has a story to tell, and we have mapped it all. This tiny, tenacious planet has been charted meticulously, revealing a treasure trove of cosmic wonders. We've traced every crevice, climbed every mountain, and plunged into the depths of its ancient impact craters. And what a sight it is. Rugged terrain juts from the surface, a testament to the planet's tumultuous past. Craters pepper the landscape, silent witnesses to the celestial clashes of yesteryears. And let's not forget the mountains, some of which rival the Rockies in size. These towering peaks are a stark contrast to the relatively smooth plains that surround them. Mercury's surface is a cartographer's dream, a complex canvas of cosmic art. But it's more than just a pretty picture. Each feature, each line, each dot on the map helps us unravel the mysteries of this enigmatic planet. From mountains to craters, Mercury's map surface is a testament to our thirst for cosmic knowledge. Mercury's atmosphere is as thin as a whisper in the wind. The atmosphere of this petite planet is so sparse, it's almost as if it's not there at all. It's more of an exosphere, really. A cloud of atoms blasted off the planet's surface by solar radiation. This is a phenomenon called sputtering. The lack of a substantial atmosphere exposes Mercury to the harsh realities of space. With no atmospheric blanket to insulate it, the planet is subject to extreme temperature swings, from scorching days to freezing nights. Yet, despite this exposure, Mercury stands strong, its surface scarred, but indomitable. Without an atmosphere to slow them down, meteoroids crash into Mercury's surface at full speed, creating a pockmarked landscape of craters. These craters become time capsules, preserving the history of these impacts for billions of years. So, while it may be easy to overlook Mercury's almost non-existent atmosphere, it's an integral part of the planet's narrative. Mercury's whisper-thin atmosphere tells a tale of resilience in the face of solar bombardment. Mercury's magnetic field puts on a cosmic ballet of swirling tornadoes and mesmerizing tails. This tiny yet tenacious planet, like a prima ballerina, twirls and spins to its own magnetic melody. The magnetic field of Mercury is a strange and fascinating phenomenon, a dynamic spectacle of cosmic proportions. 
Imagine a dance floor where invisible forces pirouette and spin, creating an ethereal ballet that is both beautiful and bizarre. Now imagine these dancers as tornadoes of magnetic energy, swirling and twirling in a mesmerizing dance. These magnetic tornadoes born from the planet's iron heart are a testament to the planet's unique and powerful magnetic field. Alongside these cosmic tornadoes, Mercury's magnetic field also creates captivating tails. These tails, stretching out into the cosmos, are like the sweeping arms of a dancer, reaching out to touch the infinity of space. In the ballet of the cosmos, Mercury's magnetic field dances to its own unique rhythm. Mercury, the cosmic enigma, continues to captivate and confound us. We've journeyed through the scorching heat and icy shadows of this small yet tenacious planet, from its extreme temperature swings to its eccentric orbit. We've delved into its iron heart, observed its whisper-thin atmosphere, and marveled at the cosmic ballet of its magnetic field. Mercury, despite its diminutive size, is a world of paradoxes. It's a place where ice exists amidst furnace-like heat, where a tiny planet boasts an enormous iron core, and where a seemingly silent world sings with magnetic tornadoes. Every corner of its rugged landscape, meticulously mapped, tells a story of resilience and constant transformation. Our journey to Mercury, the innermost sentinel of our solar system, has shown us that even the smallest celestial bodies can hold the largest surprises. Mercury, with its quirks and peculiarities, stands as a testament to the boundless wonders of our universe. Our journey across Mercury has been a wild ride of discovery. We've danced with the planet's fierce temperature tango, where the heat of the day could melt lead and the cold of the night could freeze carbon dioxide. We've delved into the tenacious spirit of this tiny planet, which, though just a smidgen larger than Earth's moon, is still contracting, defying the cosmic odds. We've traced the eccentric orbit of Mercury, a path that morphs from circular to squashed, then back again, all thanks to the gravitational tugs from the Sun and Jupiter. We've marveled at the icy enigma at its poles, a testament to the planet's ability to harbor surprises in the most unexpected places. We've probed the iron heart beneath Mercury's rocky exterior, a core so massive it accounts for a staggering 70% of the planet's mass. We've navigated the meticulously mapped surface, from rugged mountains to ancient impact craters, revealing every nook and cranny of this celestial body. We've gasped at the whisper-thin atmosphere, so sparse it's practically non-existent. And who could forget the mesmerizing cosmic ballet of Mercury's magnetic field, with its weird tails and magnetic tornadoes? Mercury, the swift-footed messenger of the Roman gods, may be small, but it packs a cosmic punch. It's a testament to the mind-bending diversity and beauty of our solar system, a reminder that even the smallest of planets can hold the most enormous of secrets. So, if you've enjoyed this interplanetary adventure, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell to stay updated on our future cosmic journeys. Share this video with fellow stargazers and ignite their curiosity about the little planet that defies expectations. Continue exploring the celestial wonders with us. Remember, the universe is full of surprises and Mercury is just the beginning. Have you ever wondered how many planets are in our solar system and what makes each one unique? Well, we're about to take a cosmic stroll through our very own galactic neighborhood. This is where we call home, the Solar System, a bustling community of eight distinct planets, each with their own story to tell, all revolving around our life-giving Sun. From the scorching Mercury to the icy Neptune, each planet is a world unto itself. Join us as we embark on a journey through our Solar System, planet by planet. Our journey begins with Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun. This tiny world, barely larger than our moon, is a place of stark contrasts. It zips around the sun at breakneck speed, completing a full orbit in just 88 Earth days. This swiftness earns it the title of the swift planet of our solar system. Mercury is a world without an atmosphere, a barren place exposed to the harsh reality of space. Because of this, it experiences the most extreme temperatures in the solar system, ranging from scorching hot during the day to freezing cold at night. And yet, despite its harsh conditions and small size, Mercury holds a certain allure. Its proximity to the Sun, its rapid orbit, and its extremes of temperature make it a fascinating object of study. It's a reminder of the diversity and extremes that exist within our own cosmic neighborhood. Mercury, while small, is a world of extremes and the swift messenger of our solar system. 
Next, we venture to Venus, often considered Earth's twin. This is due to their similar sizes, with Venus being only slightly smaller than our home planet. The composition of Venus is also akin to Earth's, with a rocky surface and metal core. But don't be deceived by these similarities, Venus is no tropical paradise. The atmosphere on Venus is dense and toxic, comprised mainly of carbon dioxide with clouds of sulfuric acid. This lethal combination creates a greenhouse effect, causing Venus to be the hottest planet in our solar system, with surface temperatures hot enough to melt lead. Interestingly, Venus spins in the opposite direction to most other planets, a phenomenon known as retrograde rotation. This means that on Venus the Sun rises in the west and sets in the east, contrary to what we're familiar with here on Earth. Venus, a world of mystery and beauty, is a testament to the power of planetary atmospheres. We now come to Earth, our own blue planet. A mesmerizing sphere swirling with white clouds, painted in hues of blue with patches of brown and green. Earth is unique in the solar system for its abundance of liquid water, a vital ingredient for life as we know it. And life, oh, it flourishes here. From the deepest trenches of the ocean to the highest peaks, life has marked its presence in the most resilient ways. Our atmosphere is another winning lottery ticket for Earth. It offers us a breathable mix of gases and shields us from harmful solar radiation. Let's not forget our faithful companion, the Moon. Its gravitational pull creates the tides, stabilizes our planet's tilt, and adds rhythm to life on Earth with its phases. Earth, our home, is a beacon of life in the vast cosmic ocean. Nestled in the Goldilocks zone, it's not too hot, not too cold, but just right for life to thrive. Our next stop is Mars, the Red Planet. Named for the Roman god of war, Mars is aptly known for its reddish hue, a result of iron oxide or rust on its surface. But don't let its foreboding color fool you, this planet is far from lifeless. At the poles, we find ice caps made of water and carbon dioxide, a chilling mirror of our own polar regions. This similarity, along with evidence of ancient riverbeds and minerals that only form in the presence of water, has led many to speculate about the possibility of past life on Mars. Today, Mars is a hub of activity with rovers like Perseverance and Curiosity, exploring its rugged terrain, analyzing soil samples, and sending back valuable data. These robotic explorers are the eyes and ears of humanity on this distant world. Mars, with its red iron dust and towering volcanoes, is a world that continues to captivate our curiosity. We now venture into the realm of the gas giants, starting with Jupiter and Saturn. These celestial titans are not just planets, but miniature solar systems, boasting a multitude of moons and enticing mysteries. Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, is so massive that over 1,000 Earths could fit within its body. It's primarily composed of hydrogen and helium, much like the Sun. But unlike our star, Jupiter has a dense core made of rock and metal, wrapped in a thick, colorful blanket of clouds. These clouds form the famous bands and swirls we associate with Jupiter, including the iconic Great Red Spot, a storm three times the size of Earth that has been raging for centuries. Circling Jupiter is a throng of moons, with a current count of 79. The four largest, known as the Galilean moons, were discovered by Galileo Galilei in the 17th century. These moons are worlds in their own right, each with unique geology and potential for life. Next, we journey to Saturn, the second largest planet and perhaps the most recognized, thanks to its stunning ring system. These rings are made of countless particles, ranging from tiny ice crystals to massive boulders, all orbiting Saturn in a dazzling display of cosmic artistry. Saturn's composition is similar to Jupiter's, primarily hydrogen and helium. However, Saturn has a unique feature. It's the least dense planet in our solar system. In fact, it's less dense than water. If we could find a bathtub big enough, Saturn would float. Saturn also has an impressive moon count, with the most famous being Titan, larger than the planet Mercury, and the only moon in our solar system, with a substantial atmosphere and liquid on its surface. Jupiter and Saturn, the two largest planets, are like miniature solar systems within our own. They invite us to explore, to discover and to marvel at the wonders of our cosmic neighborhood. 
Our journey concludes with the distant ice giants, Uranus and Neptune. Moving further out from the Sun, we encounter Uranus, the seventh planet in our solar system. Known as the sideways planet, Uranus presents a peculiar sight due to its unique tilt. Unlike the other planets, Uranus spins on its side, with an axial tilt of roughly 98 degrees. This odd orientation is likely the result of a colossal collision in the planet's early history. But what makes Uranus truly mesmerizing is its pale cyan color, a result of the methane in its atmosphere that absorbs red light and reflects the blue. Beneath its gaseous atmosphere, Uranus conceals an icy interior, a slushy mix of water, methane and ammonia ices, earning it the title of an ice giant. Moving beyond Uranus, we find Neptune, the eighth and farthest known planet from the Sun in the solar system. Neptune shares the ice giant classification with Uranus, but it is far from a mirror image of its sibling. Neptune's vivid azure hue is more intense than Uranus's, a testament to the greater abundance of methane in its atmosphere. Neptune's defining feature, however, is its incredibly strong winds. Despite its great distance from the Sun, Neptune is home to the most violent weather in the solar system. Wind speeds can reach up to 1500 miles per hour, a testament to the planet's extreme weather conditions. Despite their icy exteriors, both Uranus and Neptune hide a wealth of information about the early solar system, waiting to be unlocked by future explorations. With their peculiar characteristics, these distant ice giants provide a fascinating glimpse into the diversity of our cosmic neighborhood. They serve as a reminder that even in the cold, remote reaches of the solar system, there is much to explore and discover. Uranus and Neptune, the remote ice giants, remind us of the vastness and diversity of our solar system. We've now completed our journey through the solar system. This celestial voyage has taken us from the blistering surface of Mercury, our swift neighbor, to the ice-cold beauty of Neptune, the farthest planet from our Sun. Along the way, we've seen the diversity and uniqueness of our solar system. Venus, with its thick, toxic atmosphere, stands as a stark contrast to Earth, our blue marble teeming with life and possessing an atmosphere that sustains us. We've also discovered Mars, the captivating red planet, where the tallest volcano and the deepest, longest canyon in the solar system have carved their marks. We've marveled at the majesty of Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, and its vibrant, swirling storms. And we've been awed by the splendor of Saturn, with its iconic rings, a sight to behold. Further out, we've explored Uranus, the only planet that spins on its side, and Neptune, with its supersonic winds, the fastest in the solar system. Each planet, with its own unique characteristics, contributes to the beauty and diversity of our cosmic neighborhood. They remind us of the extraordinary complexity and vastness of the universe we inhabit. Remember, as we gaze up at the night sky, we're looking at our cosmic neighborhood, a place of endless wonder and discovery.